الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم ولا آله وأصحابه أجمعين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أولا يرى الذين كفروا أن السماوات والأرض كانت رثا ففتخناهما وجعلنا من الماء كل شيء حي أفلا يؤمنون رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لوضة من لثاني يفقه قولي I welcome all brothers and sisters with the Islamic greetings Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa katuhu Meaning, my peace, blessings and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you The topic of my talk is Quran and modern science Previously, the scientists, they thought that the light of the moon was its own light But the glorious Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61 Blessed is he, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has made the constellation in the sky and placed therein sun, the shining lamp, having its own light and moon having borrowed light. And the Arabic word is used for the sun, it is shams and its light is always described as siraj, wahaj or diya which means a torch having its own light or a blazing lamp or a shining glory. And the Arabic word is used for the moon is khamar and its light is always described as munir or nur, which means borrowed light or a reflected light. There is not a single place in the glorious Quran where the light of the moon described as its own light. And the Arabic word is used for the star is najab and its light is always described as sahib, meaning by the time it reaches the earth, it loses brightness, like a piercing brightness. The bright light, by the time it reaches the earth, it consumes itself. This message that the light of the sun is own light, describing as Siraj, Wahaj, or Diya, and moon having borrowed light that is Munir and reflected light that is Nur, is several times in the glorious Quran, including Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 15, as well as Surah Nuh, chapter number 71, verse number 15 and 16. And glorious Quran says in Surah Tariq, chapter number 86 verse number 3 one Najm Musaqib describing the star and its light as Sahib meaning pierces it is of piercing darkness with this I conclude my talk Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen